evening guys so I wanted to stop in really really quick and talk to you guys about my season change you probably say, well, Nancy, what are you talking about season changes? Ain't no seasons changing right now until December, which you are so right about that. But the time goes back Sunday, and I'm excited about that because I have some visions. I got some things I want to do, and it seems like every time the season changes or when the time goes forward or backwards, I always want to make changes to myself. So, you know, I told you guys that my sink was broken. Uh, not My sink is not really broken, but my faucet was broken, and I'll get the new faucet Saturday, and the plumbing company is going to come over Sunday so that they can put in my new uh, nozzle and stuff. I'm pretty excited about that because I have not been able to do my hair downstairs in my favorite little spot. And a lot of you guys have been following me for a while. You know how I look when I be in my little basement part. But that's the spot where I, I add color to my hair or whatever. So I want to put my purple rinse in. I think I mentioned that earlier. So I don't know if I'm going to do it. I know I can't do it on camera because it will be messy for me. I have purple stuff all over my camera. But Whenever I do decide to do it, maybe maybe my friend can help me um, with the camera and stuff so you all can see me do it. Or maybe I can do it on a live video. I don't know. So I'm going to try to work out and see how that happens for you guys. Because y'all be saying, well, Nancy, why didn't you show us when you put your color in your hair? Because I did put a um, chocolate black brown rinse in my hair. Y'all see, see that little face right there? Can y'all look past the television? That's Shay Shay right there. Oh, like I can see me. That's Shay Shay right there. Hey, girl. She looking like, who are you talking to, you crazy woman? <laughs> but, yeah, guys. So, I want to put a, add a color to my hair. And also, I... <laughs> You're going to say, Nezzy, you crazy. But you always know. You always call me crazy. So, whatever. It ain't going to make no difference if I try to be sane right now. But, I want a piercing. I want a piercing on my lip. Like... Right here or right here or something. You're probably saying, well, Nezzy, ain't it too late for you? You're a senior citizen. You need to make sure you break your hip so you can put yourself in a nursing home. You're right at that age. But no, that ain't true because when I get my teeth finished, fixed, I'm going to get an upper grill. So it's going to match my canines. You guys have seen my canine grill. So, yeah, I'm going to color my hair. It's going to be a rinse. Let me pull this up some. Shisha is really looking. <laughs> I'm gonna put a purple color rinse. It's a temporary color. It's not anything permanent. It won't damage my hair. Because actually, what I really want to do is go to the store and buy some hair dye. I want to buy some dye. I want to buy like a, um, like maybe an auburn color. I want to put some streaks in the top of my hair, and then put my rinse on top of it. But we'll see. Though we'll see. You probably saying, "Well, Nezzy, no, no, you ain't gonna start doing that to your hair." No, because I told you guys before. I've always had color in my hair. My mother been dying my hair since I was five, and I stopped coloring my hair from 2011 to 2020, only because I was on this healthy hair journey, and I ain't on it no more. So I'm ready to get back into the color, and you know, if you dye your hair a lighter color, the uh, temporary color will show way more intense. So I'm thinking about adding a few highlights right here, just a few, some peekaboos or something, maybe a few back here or something, and then... I'm going to add my color on top of it and then I want to uh, have my new grill and a piercing and I want to get some new earrings for right here because you guys I told you that I've had my ears pierced so I got four piercings on this side so I want to get some new earrings one up here and two right here uh -huh. I'm going to be looking like girl what's going on in your mid midlife crisis life <laughs> I don't know Shay 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 you want to say hi oh I ain't going through no midlife crisis because I don't think I'm really at that age yet. Usually men go through midlife crisis. I don't know. But, so, yeah. Uh, I want a new I want a new look. Also, I'm ready to hit the gym. I keep saying that, but I ain't did it. But I, I really do believe this time, since the time's going back, I'm ready to go. So, I've been thinking about um, some new gym equipment I want to add. I said, no, don't get no more gym equipment because you ain't work with the equipment you already got. So, go on down there and work with you guys first. And then... If you find yourself working out, then get the equipment. So, so yeah, I want some barbells. I, I don't know if I ever told you guys. I know I said on my Nancy Slim Down channel, I want to, I want to, I want to um, body build. I really do. And when I was lifting weights, my body looked so much better. But now I ain't even doing that. So let. So I told myself, why don't you just get to the point where you still moving your body first? So by the time next spring comes, I should look like a completely different person. Mm-hmm. And. 
I pulled out my Mark's Lane Old Luster um, jar the other day. I said, I'm going to put you back in my hair. So I will be using my Mark's Lane Old Luster in my hair this winter too because I just want to. I got it. I, have, I stopped using it because um, you guys already know that. I stopped using it because I stopped using it. I stopped using it and I stopped using it on camera. And because it's hard to find and it's not cheap when you do find it. They want to charge you. The sellers on Amazon want to charge you three or four times more than what is really worth or cost. And I'm like, mm -mm. but since I'm not on a hair journey, I can use the products that I've been wanting to use for a long time. Because I have not been really taking care of my hair. All I do is just the basics, which is shampoo, condition, and every once in a while, protein treat, and um, add my moisturizer and my grease and braid it up. So, mm -hmm. so I'm ready to get back into my hair products a little bit. I'm just ready to go. Mm -hmm. So me and my friend was looking at grills today. <laughs> Uh, we was looking like, hey, what, you know, the, uh, the, the place that I go to, the place that I did go to is, uh, called St. Louis Grills and I, they got a, they have a Instagram page if you want to go see it. So we, we, we peeped out some, some grills that we want. And guys, wait a minute. I want to, you know, we need to stay off Instagram. I have a story to share with you guys. When I was 20 years old. I went over to East St. Louis and caught myself auditioning to be a stripper. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking about, but it was so scary. And I danced for nine minutes. It was the longest nine minutes of my life with my 133 pound little self. I was a little bit of thing. I was 20, 20 or 21 years old and I made $125 in nine minutes. Now look, I was in my job for 28 years. I ain't never made no... $125 in nine minutes ever at that job, okay? And I remember the girls there, uh, this one girl, she was a little white girl. She was so upset. I got there around 11 in the morning because I was afraid to go on stage. So I actually stayed there like almost eight hours, something like from 11 to five or six or something like that because I was scared to get on the stage and people was waiting on me to come out there and so I can get on nothing. Like, anyway, this is a white girl. She didn't have a really cute shape or anything. She had a, yeah, a regular little body. And um, in my opinion, my body looked better than hers. But she was so upset because she only made $800. I'm like, I'm looking around like, girl. And at this time, it was 1990. She was upset because she only made $800 by 11 o'clock in the morning. She was so disappointed on a Tuesday or Wednesday. I was like, girl, what? So anyway, I say that to say this. Uh, I never get on the stage. Well, let me say, take it back. I did get on the stage. And I remember, I remember the lady, the supervisor lady said, you have to, it was, it was a topless uh, strip joint, and you have to step up on the stage, and then whenever you want to, whenever you, uh, it'll be some men sitting around the table in their chairs, and they were called gentlemen or something, I don't know. But anyway, you, we couldn't just walk off the stage and go sit on their laps and do our little wiggly, 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 shaky booty thing. You had to actually climb off the stage off the stair, I me mean, off the stage and go down there and then do your performance, then walk, get back up on the stage and then go to the next person down and up. And boy, my quads, these front of my legs, they were hurting and I was pretty much in shape, but it, that, they hurt. So I remember those guys sticking money in all sorts of holes. It was not a good feeling. I said, this don't feel good to me. I don't like it. This one big, heavy set white guy, he was older. And he was a big guy and he had like a beard and I remember sitting on his lap and he motorboated me. I said, ah! I said, oh my God, this is it. Said, oh God, I had money come out of every hole. But that was okay though, because I didn't when I got through, <laughs> when I got through with that um when I got through, I when my when the last song ended, it's a song to this day, every time I hear it, it remind me of that. I ain't gonna tell y'all because I don't want y'all to tease me, but <laughs> Every time I hear that song, it just makes me feel the same way I did 30 years ago. So anyway, uh, when I got off the stage, the uh, the supervisor girl said, "You did a good job. You know you you know you can do this. You you heard." I said, "Whoa, girl! I got my little. I had a 1976 Plymouth Valari, and it was so raggedy. It had holes in the floor of the of the car, 
and you heard these strange sounds when I would put on brakes like boom 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 and then I had on my uh, tires it had thread coming out the tires I paid $175 for that car and that car got me everywhere and I took my stupid butt over to East St. Louis and called myself trying to be a stripper and I got in that car and drove back home so fast as I would never tell nobody and I ever doing that again but anyway here I am now at 51 so I really do admire the girls who be on there dancing on the pole and I said I want to build enough body strength up just to get up the pole Nancy, you want to be a pole ho? They're not hoes. Those girls who get on that pole, I look at them as being athletes. I know girls, I know people want to say really, really mean things about them, but they have some cute moves and they have enough body strength to get up the pole. They have beautiful bodies and I want to do it just for exercise and just to make myself feel like I'm going somewhere in life because somewhere, some, somehow I ain't going nowhere. Okay, so I want to go up the pole and... Yeah, I'm just ready to throw on my hooker shoes. I'm gonna go get my hooker shoes right quick. All right, guys, so I got my hooker shoes. I had the last time I wore these shoes was in 2004. Now, these are some strap ups six inch, six inch heels, stilettos. I think they're more than six inches because I think this platform here was, I think this is two inches, and I think the heel is four. Oh, that is six inches. What the hell am I talking about? Anyway, so last time I had these shoes on, girls. I had these shoes. <laughs> Girl, I have last time I wore these shoes was in 2004 when I had on that string, red string bikini. And I got all the attention. So I want to throw on my on my whole shoes here. I want to throw on my shoes. And wiggle around. So I can't fit them now because my feet gained too much weight. I might put them on for y'all one day. Y'all let me know if I can still walk in these shoes. So I remember. When I had to walk in these shoes, I had to walk on the front part. If you try to walk on this part, you're going to fall and bust some your navel or something. You don't want to bust your navel open. And you're talking about somebody who was hot to trot. Here goes the string. It went all the way up my calf. I'm going to put these shoes on, and I'm going to do some sexy dance moves. Those are the things I want to do, and I'm going to do it. I have no reason not to. Mm -hmm. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm.